All right, so just walking in the gas station, we got chickens are checking you at the door. Make sure you got a mask on. All right, so are you ready for a fishing video? Because I'm ready to get to some fishing. I've been sitting here in this parking lot. I came out here. I kind of loaded up everything in my Suburban. I drove about like five minutes away. It's just kind of get leave, to get out of the house, to start this trip. I really wasn't sure where I'm going. There's like three or four places I was like, well, maybe I can go here, maybe I go here. I want to go somewhere and just catch some good fish, but also I'm going to try these are kind of newer places. So this place I'm going, 30 minutes away, right down in Chattanooga. It's a pretty common area, but I've really never caught very many good fish there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I've, I'm ready to go and decide what to do, I think. And we're headed that way now. Well, this is a bit out of my comfort zone, but the water's spilling pretty strong. But that's the thing about these, in the wintertime, all of these fish, they, they'll run up under the dam and there could be anything in there. Uh, definitely all kinds of different fish. So hopefully I can catch something. And I think I, another guy's gonna be meeting me over here and, if it don't work here, I got another spot a little further down I might try. So hopefully we can get on some fish. Yep. I got no confidence in this place. Especially when the water's up like this, really flowing out. So much water here. But I know there's all kinds of fish in there. Just got to find them, I guess. Or just have them biting. Oh, yes. I think I hooked it in two. Whoa, I got a double. <laughs> I got a double skipjack. <laughs> That's crazy. First catch, double skipjacks. Good sized ones too. <laughs> I'll throw one of them back. I'm gonna keep the other one. It's a good one though. I'm gonna keep this one for catfish bait. I may uh, try here or somewhere else here in a little bit. Wow, that was uh, pretty cool about five, 10 minutes of casting and all of a sudden a double. <laughs> I'm just gonna record you. What are you doing? I don't know. I didn't know. Trying to catch something. Well, I'd moved to a new spot for just a few minutes then I ran into Heath and uh, he's got some live bait. So I'm gonna run up here with him. We're coming up to under the dam and try to fish with some uh, big old live uh, shiners and uh, shad and stuff. If they're there, they're gonna hit right away. Yeah. Fish on, we got, we got. Oh, a little bass. I just stopped at this pier before I go down to the, oh, it's a, yeah, a little large mouth. I'm gonna go down and use my cut bait here in just a minute. We, uh, me and Heath tried with live bait up there for a little while, but it didn't seem like it was anything up there. Well, the water's up, which could be a good thing. But I'm gonna have to get my feet a little bit wet. I didn't bring my boots. Gotta get over here. Oh, come on. This is like super muddy too. All right, just gotta get. 
couple steps across the dump. Oh, got just a little wet. This is the spot where some giant catfish can be. Let's get rigged up and get one out there. And we have us some super fresh skipjack. Just caught today. Alrighty. Hopefully we don't get snagged. Hopefully something decides to come and hit it. That'll be fun. All right, this is my hope. This is one of my, oops, one of my best places, I think, to actually get a good catfish. I've been fishing for catfish a bunch actually recently. I don't show it all the time because I haven't caught anything. All kinds of places, but today I feel like feeling good. Yes, 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 yes. That's something on there. He's taking it for a little bit, so. Oh my goodness, it came off. What? Maybe I should have used a bigger hook. Oh man. That was that was definitely a good fish on there. Oh my goodness. I was wondering about this smaller hook. I'm gonna upsize a more weight, put a bit if I have a bigger hook, put a bigger hook on there. That that took a that's probably be, uh 20, 30 minutes. 20 minutes probably I was just sitting here watching basketball highlights and stuff and something hit it. So alright, that that's it gives me a promise anyways. All right, I'm re-hooked up. I got 30 pound fluorocarbon leader line. I got a bigger hook. I got that head on there. And um, I got a little bit more weight on it. Hopefully that, whatever that last thing was, wasn't just like a stick or something, which I don't think it was. I don't think it would have robbed my bait. But this right here ought to, there's something out there. This ought to get its attention. All right, all right. We got one this time. Ah, uh, there's something to swim with it. Here we go. Yes, yes, that's a big fish. Yes, dude. All right. Hopefully it's not. I think it's bigger than it's in the current. Hopefully it's not snagged on anything. Let me make sure my drag's not too tight. Oh, come on, I need you to get this guy in. I need this one. Oh, he's gonna fight again when he gets up here. Oh, yes! Mm. It's not, not a new PB, I don't think, but a good fish. Because I haven't caught any catfish in a while. It just feels good to get something. Especially a little bit of current here. Nice cat. Oh, it's a good feeling. Let me see if I can get him in. Yeah. All right, come on up. Come on up. All right, where are you going? Where are you going? All right, no, no like super giant or anything. Just a good fish for me to catch. Yes, dude. Oh man, I'm happy to get a good fish. Oh yeah. Look at that blue. Nice, probably a 10 pounder. We're gonna weigh it here in a second. I'm happy with that. Right at 10 pounds, feels good to get a catfish. Oh man. I'm really enjoying this one. <laughs> All right. I got hope we can get another one now. I don't want to lose my grip first. And it's gone. Nice. I was picking up to leave and I, this not here, oh, I got a hit. Yep, this definitely got one. Yep, yeah, I got one. I was picking up to leave and I had. A, I got a fish on. Wait. 
Does he get me stuck on something? He might be stuck on something. What? Oh, he's on there. Oh, there we go, he came loose. Or, er, he was stuck on something, but he came loose. Okay, I can't tell what I got, because I was snagged. I don't think he's that big. Let's get this other camera on here. I've been sitting here for probably, who's oh, coming at me? 40 minutes without a bite. Started packing up and looked over, and this one was getting a bite. Yes, I think it was a channel cat. Well, I'm glad I didn't leave too soon. Kind of a little, little bit of time in between bites, but I'll take it. Come here. Well, boom, look at there. That's a, all right, thanks. All right, we'll check that out. About a, about a four or five pound channel cat. Pretty fish there. No, yeah, I was picking up to leave, just put stuff in my backpack and this uh, rod started tugging. First fish, that, uh, first catfish I've got on that um, rod felt pretty good, especially for this size fish. So, man, it's not a bad day. I don't know how long it's been since I've caught two catfish in one day. All right, thank you, Mr. Channel Catfish. Now, Channel Catfish, uh, I can tell it mostly by the color, but I think they're, this right here is different on them and a couple of things, but most times they're a little bit greener, darker, and the blue catfish are bluer and whiter. Well, now I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna rebait both of my baits now and throw them back out for another you know, 30 minutes. I was thinking about trying to place down there, but I don't even know if I can get down to it, so. I'm gonna, yeah, that one took my bait off. And this one over here has the old head on it that caught that one on. So cut new baits for both my rods, throw them back out there. I just lost a good bass. That's a big smallmouth. Yeah. This looks like where it's gonna end. Pretty successful day. I didn't catch like a ton of fish, but finally targeting some catfish and getting catfish was, that was a great feeling. <laughs> I'm like 95% sure that was like a two, three pound smallmouth that I just uh, had hooked for a second and it came up, jumped up out of the water there. I uh, just kind of started walking down the the, the sidewalk here and trying to catch anything but thanks so much for watching uh, i had a great time skip lunch so uh definitely gonna go straight to get some supper oh oh i got it i got it i got it i came back to that spot and I don't think it's the same fish, but I got something. Wait, it may be the same fish. Oh, and it came off. Oh my goodness. Trying to get down there to it. I think that was a white bass. Oh my goodness. I came back to the spot just to cast in. Hooked the fish the first cast like I did last time. Lost it again. What is in here? <laughs>